Yo, Frost, thank you so much for the raid, yo. Uh, I'm gonna be back in like two, three minutes. I'm just grabbing some coffee, but thank you, thank you so much, yo. Appreciate it, man. Test test one two. Yo, what the fuck is up? Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, P yo, what up, Marcus? Yo, Rachi B, what up, yo? Good afternoon, good afternoon. I guess, oh, good evening, actually. It, it trips me out because there's light outside, but it's actually evening now. I'm not used to that. But uh, welcome, welcome, guys. What's up, swimming? T ponies, what's up? Shiro, Vin, how are you guys? Amethi, Chika Guya, what's up? David, how are you guys? Rogue, good evening, good evening. Get in touch with my boy uh, Ken. Sitting ever so patiently in the uh, in the waiting room. He's waiting patiently for us. 
Ocean, what up? Your favorite antagonist? Yo, what up? It is <laughs> you know what? Low key, low key, you fit the bill. <laughs> Yo, but what's up? What's up? How are you guys? Toast toes, shiny pants. What's up, Jay? How are you guys? Fallen, yo, small babs, hello. Looking very down there today, King. What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> yo, what is that supposed to mean? Hey, don't have you been, my dude? I've been all right. Thank you so much, yo. I've been busy, super, super busy lately, like IRL shit. So, uh, it's nice to be back streaming. It's been like I've only been doing these like once a week now, so it's good to be back. Yo, 3 a.m. Thank you so much for these three months in a row. Thank you, thank you with the Coco Happies. Thank you so much, yo. Yo, following us here with the Ken emotes. Yo, let me see some Ken emotes in chat. I never asked for those. I actually like really like Ken's emotes. Wait, what, what are these? Ken Tom vibe. Okay. Yo, salary man, what's up? Glitched, how are you? Uh, give another two, three minutes. We're just letting everybody kind of settle into the stream. You know how it is. Yo, Sparkbeat, welcome. Orange, what's up? Yo, there they are. Hey, what the fuck is that? Is that a button with a peanut on it? Is that actually emote that he has? What? What is that one? What does that one even mean? Let me ask him about that one. What mic you using, Domo? I'm using the Shure SM7B. It's these. It's these. Actually, it's a great mic, but just don't buy the fucking GoXLR. That shit was not worth it, yo. <sighs> Complain this about this thing way too often. It's a nut, but ah, oh, okay. You know what? See that one over that one over my head. Uh, yeah. Give it another like minute or two, guys. I'm just letting everybody settle in. And Thomas wet tree Mike. Doesn't he have one? Oh no, he has a different sure. He has a sure that. Um, fuck, I forget the one he's using, but he is using another different sure. Why do you hit the Go XLR? Um, it's too expensive, man. It's too expensive, and I have software issues. Sure, MV7. Yo, th Frost, thank you again so much for the the huge raid. Thank you so much. I saw. I actually was tuning into your uh, stream before when I was just writing notes for this uh, for this stream. So it's funny that you raided me afterwards. So thank you, Frost. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Ooh, this is a fire playlist, actually. I hope it ain't, ugh, I might get copyrighted for this shit. I'm gonna have to choose another one. Don't tell Ken Tom. Yeah, I know. That, the reason I was hesitant to say this is because fucking uh, Ken has the Go XLR. <laughs> I don't want to like rag on his ass. Yo, Swimming, thank you so much for the gift. It's up to Kent. <laughs> okay, yeah. Here it is, yo. Here it is. The classic Swimming gift sub. Swimming, thank you so much. Yo, Swimming, thanks so much for your help earlier today, too. Appreciate it, homie. Yo, D, thank you uh, so much for these seven months, yo. Can you get an okay hand sign for the camera? Like this? Like, okay. Yeah? Like that? What does that even mean? You need it for like a meme or something? Alright. Fair enough. I'm sure random Twitch Kent appreciates that. Yeah, shout out Kent. Don't actually shout him out. I don't like, I don't know this dude. I don't know who's on there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you you guys know the uh, guest today. It's the uh, wonderful Kentama. Um, let me see here. Oh yeah, uh, one thing to preface is that uh, I'm actually switching. I'm switching to the older overlays. You know the classic, the classic style overlays that I'm using for months. I'm I'm switching it back to that one for Ken's, uh, just because uh, I'm kind of working on a new style of overlay. I'm not really fucking with the the one that I made for Cecile and Connie, so I'm in the midst of making a new one. Also, it's just more fitting. Like I don't know the vibe for it. Uh, that's good. That's good. The Kentama? Yo, it's a Mitsuki. Yes, sir. The Kentama. Earthquake? Oh, it's because I'm doing a lot of this, yo. I think I just pointed that out. I don't have it on the stand or anything when it's at this angle. Also, what's up, Haz, yo? What up, what up? Yeah, I'm working a new one, so I'm just using the old one for today. Way to do be shaking. Yeah, like micro shakes. When I, like, move around the mouse and shit. <laughs> Literally twitching. Yeah, O'Brien, what's up? Good evening as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing that. Give it another minute, guys. Give it another minute. Yo, did you guys see the fucking Isayama uh, trending on Twitch? Is that because AOT finished the manga? Yo, no spoilers. Actually, no spoilers. That's like, I swear to God, if you spoil me on this channel, I'm banning you. Like, insta-ban. Don't even joke about it. If I see some fake spoiler shit, you're getting insta-ban. I swear my life. You should blacklist AOT. Oh, that's true. You're right. You actually big true in. 
Well, it's nice to see, um, it's nice to see people talking about Attack on Titan, but not in the context of spoilers. Because this season's been fucking fire, dude. This season has been fire. Yeah, dead ass, no rats. <laughs> Yo, thank you, guy. And now I'm really scared of chat. For the most part, for the most part, this chat's like, you guys are good. You guys are good with not spoiling shit. I'm like so invested into the anime. So I don't want to, I don't wanna hear shit about the manga, to be honest. Yo, Mai, what up? Welcome. Good evening. Darren, what's up? No rats. Yo, that's facts, Marcus. Big facts. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think we're good. Let me check if Ken is ready to go. Okay, sweet. I think we are. So, uh, I mean, you are. You guys already know. Let me see it, yo. Let me see it, chat. There's only one thing I want to see before I bring in the guest. I'm not even going to say it, yo. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. Let me see it in chat and we bring our guest, Kentama, in. Oh, beautiful. Oh, chef's kiss, baby. I don't have to say fucking word. Yo, Sens, what up, G? Good to see you in chat. Oh, beautiful. Feeble, what's up? Yo, if I if I haven't uh, said good evening to you guys, then good evening, good evening. Oh, look at that, the wall of God. Oh, beautiful. And the oh the <laughs> yeah. Yo, there's always like there's always like one or two guys that like don't have the sub and they do it anyways. It's fucking hilarious. That's like the cherry on top. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, sweet. So you guys do the drill. We play the commercial. Commercial. The trailer. What the fuck is this? A TV show? We play the trailer and then we bring. Our, actually, let me let me mute the music. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I do it too. Yo, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, cut the commercial. Yo, cut the shit. Cut the shit. All right. So, uh, you know how it is. We mute the music. We play the trailer and we bring a lovely guest, Kintama, on. I will see you guys on the other fucking side. My name is Kentama. Me tubing is just one gigantic orgy. You did not. <laughs> Go, man! Wait till she hears me say cunt. Kambawa! My lady. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Yo, Ken? Yo. Yo oh, oh. Hold on there. Oh, oh wait. Whoa. Oh. oh. Yo. Oh. Can you there? Yo, what's up, man? What the, what am I looking at here? Hello? Are you there, man? Can you can you see me? I can I can barely see you, man. You got you gotta be on screen for me, dude. Oh. I can't see shit. Uh. I can't see you, man. <laughs> Whoa, hold hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he hey, there he is. Can you all see Yo, me? everyone. <laughs> Yeah, everybody, say hello to Ken Tama. Hello. Look at this dude. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What Yo. is up? What is up? Yo, and there he is, Ken. Yo, Ken, what's up? Yo, Ken. Yo, stop clowning yeah. around, man. Put the stool aside. Oh, get, get your okay, ass in here, man. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> hold up, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. One second, one second. Okay. How about how about how about how about that? He's huge. Now he's actually five foot five. Are you <laughs> the actually, real size, dude? So do you know how like do you know the circumference of your head by chance? If you like, if your body, if so, if in total you're five foot five, like how how big is the head? Ah, uh, I think it must be like the size of my stomach. Ah, uh, I haven't actually gotten one of those like those rulers that are like. You know the the you know, what are those cloth rulers called? Cloth even, rulers? The hell are you talking about? You, you, like you know when you go to the doctor and then like they they like measure your like BMI or whatever. I've no. You know what? like they they like wrap it around like your your waist just to see like how big you are. The measuring tape? Oh, I, mean, oh, I, I guess that's a measuring tape, right? Measuring yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've never taken one of those to my head, but I imagine it's big. Like, yeah, when you say cloth ruler, is that what you said? Cloth ru cloth ruler. Cloth ruler. Yes. <laughs> hey man, either way, it's good to it's good to finally have you on stream. I've been keeping an eye on uh I, I mean I I tune into your streams like fairly like every now and then I won't I won't say like too too often. And it's always a good time in your stream, so it's a uh, pleasure to have you on here now. No, and it's a pleasure to be here. I've been watching the streams 
um, like especially more often since I've become a VTuber and have gotten into the community. And it's kind of crazy how much of a ritual it is to watch the Domo streams. It's, uh -huh. it, and it's really fun too. It, it kind of is. It kind of is. Like I feel like like there are like especially when it's like like um when it's like someone that like everyone's friends with you just see like all of your VTuber friends in the chat as well. Um it's it it, it almost feels like a ritual. Like almost. Hey, well, thank you so much for that, yo. That's that's very very uh that's flattering. You keep gassing me. You stop, you know, stop. <laughs> I mean keep keep going but stop, you know what I mean? <laughs> so humble too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how's your how's your day so far? It's been good. B busy, very busy. Like I, I went to bed on time, but I couldn't like fall asleep last night on time. And now I'm very tired. I had a long work day um, with my day job, and now I am purely exhausted. Though I am running on some cold brew fumes, and that's been um, that's been a time. I'm like. I'm like in this weird cross section of like jittery, but also like kind of tired. But I'm trying. I'm bringing the energy. I'm bringing the energy today, at least hopefully. Nice. Hey, well, I mean, I feel it, yo, yo, uh, Hannah, yo, yo, Hannah. Good to see you in chat. Good to see you in chat as well. All right, I, I need to know. So what? What is the? What is the day in the life of Kentama look like? I, I want your routine. The wake up process. The before bed ritual. Everything. What, what does that look like? Oh man. Um. I promise it's nothing glorious or fascinating. I wake up 15 minutes before work and then I live like five minutes from the office. So I like wash my face, go to the bathroom, then like drive to work. Then for my day job, I shoot videos all day. So I, I basically spend my time holding a camera and then I come home and play games or go on discord or stream and then i go to sleep <laughs> it's, it's i promise it's nothing it's nothing fascinating <laughs> you know following brings up a good question when do you have time to now nah, you know what don't worry about it don't worry about huh? it no 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 don't hmm? worry about that yeah. hey, hey uh, anyways uh, before okay. before before we get into the good stuff uh and i'm gonna touch on the stuff that you said just now but uh mm -hmm. can we get a uh quick introduction from uh from you with the classic kentama the well you know oh all right well hi my name is kentama and i'm your little pod champ like that is that zoom in hotkey <laughs> that, are you doing that no. manually no i i'm on my third mouse i keep destroying these scroll wheels He's a third <laughs> mouse what <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm just playing. But like, I, I actually abuse my scroll wheel. Like, I can go really small. Oh well, yeah, I can go really small, or I can go very big. <laughs> yeah, beating yeah. beating that thing up. Okay, hey, well there he is, yo. What's uh? I mean, what's uh? Who is Kentama really? Go go into depth a little bit more for those who don't know. I mean, who doesn't know the Kentama? But just humor Ooh. me for a bit there. Yeah. So I am a 12, <clears throat> 13 year old little pod champ that occasionally plays games but apparently people like my words of wisdom that i may or may not only have during my streams for some reason um that's pretty much the gist of it i i play games sometimes i am very good at mario kart my chat will uh will definitely back me up there i'm also very good at fall guys i have definitely won a million crowns and um i just like talking i like talking and I also like the search for dad. You what? Nothing. If he's out there, just just let me know. Damn, I got I got real. I got it's it. I'm I'm always I'm always <laughs> trying. Yo, man, my man hasn't come back with the milk yet. Mm mm. Damn, what the hell? Yo, or the cigarettes. <laughs> or, or the cigarettes. Especially the cigarettes. Yeah, that, that one's taking like extra long. God damn. He's like, he went straight to the factory to try to get them from the source or something. Yeah, all the way in Wisconsin. All the... <laughs> she, yo, at Crone. All right, well, um... <laughs> okay. This, this one's going to be a weird one to, like, bounce off from that. Uh, okay. This isn't coming from me. This is coming from, like... 
a source that I have. Um, rumor has it that, uh... <laughs> rumor has it that they call you, uh... Rumor has it that they call you testicles. What's that about? <laughs> What? Yo, I didn't I didn't say this one. I didn't I'm not like making this shit up. Someone else said Excuse this. Excuse me? Excuse me? I didn't say I that. I come on I I come onto the stream <laughs> and you call me testicle? Yo, I didn't Okay, it's not me, dude. Like I'm not If I could avoid the question it would, but I need some explanation too. Like I don't know what the fuck's oh, going on. Sorry. Right? I thought I thought I was on twitchtv domo arigat thanks. Yeah, I mean you are. You are. That's why you get explained. Oh, yourself. oh, oh. Okay. Okay. What is what um, is that well, about? Well, okay. So so the the joke is that my name is very shockingly close to Kintama, which is golden balls in Japan or in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, what? Um, yeah, and that that might have been a slight oversight on whoever the hell made me or my name, um, but we we won't talk about that anymore. That that's in my past. Or, All right. Yeah. That's uh, whoever whoever. It's not you, right? You don't have mm -mm, any blame mm -mm. there. Couldn't be me. Couldn't, mm -mm. couldn't be. Couldn't mm -mm. be Kenton, I guess. Mm -mm. Come on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yo, Haru, thank Definitely you so not. much for the sub, yo. Appreciate it. Okay, we'll move we'll move away from that, yo. We'll move away from that. Um. I mean, yeah, like, I was talking about you for a second. I actually really admire you because uh, you always seem like you're having so much fun uh, with VTubing. I know you just, you fairly recently got into, or not really, like it's actually, how long has it been? Oh man, I debuted in December. I wish I could remember the date off the top of my head. That's probably one of the more important days of VTubing, huh? But um, I debuted in December, like mid-December. So it's been what, like, man, four to five months? Is, December it, 10th, is my, my math correct? December 10th? Oh! That's my mod swimming, by the way. He's, yeah, he's yeah. a bro. So you're yeah, coming yeah, around yeah. to like the quarter year. Any plans there? Um, any plans, you said? Yeah. Um. Oh, no, wait. Not... You've passed the quarter year. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, no, you've passed the quarter year. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Well, so I did, I did have my birthday celebration, which wasn't anything fancy. I literally came home from work and thought of nothing. So I just hung out on my stream and, and thanked everyone for just the awesome year that I had because my year anniversary, which was on March 11th, if I remember correctly, March 11th, um, <clears throat> my birthday, is um, it's it's my one year anniversary of streaming overall. Um, so in on my IRL side, uh, I started streaming on Twitch and that like Twitch streaming for me period is like one of the best things that I've ever done in my life. Um, it, it, it's opened a lot of doors for me. It's, it's helped me meet a lot of people and it's also helped me fulfill myself creatively. And so I made my birthday around that date just because of how important, um, th like this whole thing is for me. Like, I think, I think Tama is, is Tama represents everything that I love about creating stuff. Um, he's basically like my own way of celebrating uh, my own creativity and that's I guess why I like having fun with all of this stuff because I, I just like creating things like I mean at least when I have motivation to do it but I love creating things and and I think Tama is my my favorite outlet to do it what is it specifically about VTubing though like with Kentama that like and there's a lot that you can do obviously but what is it specifically about VTubing that you can't get from any other source of I don't know like creative outlet or like any sort of media creation what is it? What is it with VTubing specifically? Hmm. I think the main thing for me, um, which is I think an obvious answer for a lot of people, but for me having shown my face with my IRL side um, and going into VTubing, I think it really does have to be the fact that I can hide my face and not worry about any like like notions that someone might have about my appearance. I can I can basically do my thing as Tama and not worry about how I look because at least if, if I'm to believe how people think of Tama or what people think of Tama, um, this adorable little dude is a lot more presentable than my old ugly mug. <laughs> so yeah, I felt that. I felt that one. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, why do you think, okay, why do you, why okay. think my camera's cut oh, off like right oh, here, oh, dude? I don't, I don't okay, want people to see my okay. ugly ass. <laughs> okay, look, okay, look, Kevin. Yo, look, you, 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 you got, you got a good look, dude. Like, don't, 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 don't give yourself shit, man. You, you, uh, you can show your face on camera all you want. I'm sure a lot of people would love that. <laughs> bro, this guy's roasting my ass, bro. Yo, you have to go there. I, I, got, I got some free ass. Call me Kevin. I got you. I got some free ass in a hot minute for that. Wait, 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 wait. What? What is this? Wait, hold, wait. What? 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 Wait, what? Yo, I, 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 dude, what? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Wait, what? I think I'm missing something. Yo, what, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Bro, what, what, the, what the fuck is this shit? Yo, that kind of looked real. That, that scared me for a second. I thought I put that out somewhere. <laughs> bro, what? Yo, you got you got to yo, wait, you gotta hide. Wait, zoom in on that shit. Wait, zoom in on that shit. You gotta hide your shit. Don't, put that shit in your wallet, bro, man. Dead, wait, 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 where's that going? Yo, pull that out here. Wait, yo, bring it, bring it up. Bring it yo, up you want you want to see it? You want to see it? <laughs> this guy, <laughs> bro. I thought I was like, "Yo, did I put that on Twitter somewhere or something?" <laughs> That's gonna shit out of me. Oh my god, this guy, bro, with the Kevin. Wait, Yo, bro. I got him. <laughs> I, I got him. I got him, bro. With the fucking. Yo. You don't know how long I've been sitting on that shit, dude. <laughs> he was waiting to pull that out. God damn. I've had that. I've had that on my OBS for like three months, dude. <laughs> this guy, as soon as he, as soon as he saw the selfie on Twitter, he's like, Yo, I'm getting this guy's ass. <laughs> when I get the opportunity, I'm getting him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's cute. That's cute. I get a little something free too, but I know. hang on to that. I, hang on. I... Hang on to that little. Yeah. Okay. There. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> Yo, real quick, yo, Gucci, thank you so much for the five months, brother. Thank you so much. And Shokins for the six months. Sheesh. Yo, can we get a sheesh? sheesh. Hey, there it is. Okay. Put your buzz in. Should... Yo, never say that again. Don't say that. <laughs> I want to hear that from you, man. Never again. All right. So, yeah. I, so, going back to, like, the whole genesis of your VTubing thing, because you, mm -hmm. uh, wink, wink, it wasn't actually December 10th. It was December 12th, swimming. But, <laughs> cute. Cute. Um, yeah, do you... How did you initially get into VTubing? So I think like a lot of us in this community and, and for people that are, you know, wanting to become VTubers, I think a lot of the inspiration comes from people that came before us, our forefathers, which is um, for the most part, um, Hollow Life. <laughs> that's facts, yeah, that's facts. That, is, that is true facts. I mean, like, yeah, for, for myself, yeah, definitely my first introduction to VTubing was Hall Live for like probably the first like three months of discovering Hall Live. I didn't know, I didn't even realize that there was an EN, like a indie side at all. I was totally unaware. So for that first three months of just watching VTubers on YouTube with through translation clips, I was just watching uh, like Hall Live and Hall of Stars initially. I'm, I imagine that was the same for you. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's hard to ignore like how big they had blown up in the past year. I mean, obviously, you know, Hall Live has been around for a few years, but I was kind of, I was almost kind of ignoring VTubers. Like, like I mean, I think a lot of us have had watched Kizuna Eye in the past when she right. blew up, right? But I don't think that like sparked anything in me. I thought it was like a really cool thing, but it wasn't attainable, right? But I think when Hollow Live really took off during the beginning of the pandemic and especially i think a, a lot of my friends even like got or, got into it around the same time as me yeah um it was the summer it was the it was like like summer 2020 was when all hell broke loose i started watching clips every single day um you know i started you know watching actual streams i was listening to the music it was it, like hollow live was pretty much my routine at that point yeah, it, it's it, it's like <laughs> like I think a lot of people know the know the know what the hole is like. Like I think some people have been able to you know manage it well and have crawled out and you know keep keep it to a reasonable level. Um, but it was bad when I first started. But I yeah. think I think once once I really got the gist of what it was. Once I once it was really built into my life. Like okay, like this is how the streams work. Um, this is how they operate. Um, I think I started, I, 
Okay, well, okay, for context, like, again, I started Twitch streaming um, on, on that date in March, right? But I started that in the beginning of the pandemic. Um, so I was already live streaming for about a couple of months when I got into Hololive. And I think oh. once, yeah, and once I started um, seeing how much fun the Hololive members were having on their streams, I was starting to try to figure out ways to make my own IRL streams really fun as well. Um, trying to inject my own personality into it. Um, you know, trying to come up with with like cool shows or bits and whatnot. And I think at some point I realized that me showing my face as like a super nerdy anime fan um, wasn't working for me in particular. Like I felt like I wanted to kind of separate myself IRL from what would become my love of VTubing overall and like what the potential of that could be. So that's where Tama came about. And like, I, I'm sure we're going to go into it in a moment, but um, the, the process of, of me becoming a VTuber to actually debuting, um, it, it happened relatively quickly um, just because I, I wanted to... I wanted to like act on this motivation to actually do my own thing in its like best and most developed way, which I thought was like being Tama. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a, <clears throat> I appreciate that, that you kind of took inspiration from like the hollow girls to like make your, make your streams more interesting. I don't know. Like, I don't know when it was for you guys in chat. Uh, I got into Hall live. I want to say end of April. So or like just beginning of March, I think. So I'm actually like coming around to like my like full first year of like my Ooh. first encounters of YouTubers, which is so funny. But yeah, you got in a little bit earlier and just I I guess it was mere coincidence that Oh no, you you got you got into it earlier. Wait, when did you get into it? Sorry. Like uh I like around July or August. So I haven't oh, right, been a that long. Oh, oh sorry, it yeah, was yeah, March yeah. where you started streaming, correct? Streaming, yes, yes. Right, right. So you yeah, you initially started streaming uh, and then you just took inspirations from Hall Live and then incorporated in that into your stream, which is now Kintama, your YouTube yourself. Yes, exactly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, like, you know, if you if you feel the urge to like create something, um, I've always been an advocate of like if you if you have motivation to do something that could potentially further you, you should just act on it. And while I wasn't confident that Tama would work as a VTuber, because I mean, look at me. I'm, 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 I don't look like your normal VTuber. Um, I, I'm like, there aren't many of me, uh, chibi, you know, VTubers out there. Y'all are almost I, extinct. I, <laughs> extinct. <laughs> are you, are you writing my death, dude? You're an endangered species. <laughs> I see someone calling me a mascot and Joe is, is already mascot? calling me a mascot. What's that about? What's that about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so, um, I, I made, I made a slight joke cause, um, I think, uh, a thing that, um, that I've, I've certainly heard about, uh, about VTubers, especially going into it. But as, when I was in the community, like it, it became more of a conversation is like, um, oh, it, like male VTubers are, are like, you know, they, they, they have like an uphill battle sort of thing when it comes to you know, trying to grow their brand and whatnot. And I guess that came up as a topic on my stream. Um, and it's funny because like, like someone brought up the mail thing and I was like, oh, like, I, you know, I, I said my bit and whatnot. Um, and then someone in someone in, I guess, my curious cat or in chat or something was like, oh, so Tama, what's it like being a mascot? And I was like, oh, he, that person don't even see me as a dude VTuber. That person sees me as a mascot. Oh, he thought that was like, <laughs> he thought that was like a little piece of art or something that someone drew, like to represent you. But it was actually just you. It was actually just yeah. your VTuber. So that, that's the funny thing is that that was, that was kind of the impression. Samuel that I... type beat, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That's well, funny that my, fuck, no, I, said that, I, said that, I said that in my debut though. Like I, I like, my, like a joke that I had in my debut on my slides was um, I was a, um, an Agretzko reject. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> yo, yo, it's fucking hilarious. Agretzko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like, it, the thing is that, like, 
when I was getting into VTubing, uh, like when I started um, being more public with Tama, when I made his Twitter and whatnot, I knew right away because when I saw people in the indie community, you know, making their profile pictures, you know, their their chibi art or whatever, but you know, obviously they had full models uh, made of them or full designs. I was like, there's going to be a lot of people that think that Tama is, um, at least by his profile picture, just a normal VTuber, but this is just like a thing that he does. He's just he's just advertising himself as a chibi, but he's really a bigger dude. But I think when people go onto my streams, when they think that, they're probably very disappointed or weirded out, or they're just like, this is not what I signed up for at all. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know? I don't think that, I think when people come into your streams, I, I find people say like, oh, your avatar is so cute or whatever. I don't think people are like off-put and disappointed necessarily. So... I think it's a, I think, I, I think at least at least now, yeah. Yeah, because people are like familiar with who you are now. Or maybe maybe initially it was like a little a little of a surprise, I guess. Yeah, and I think that's that's been like one of my my proud points. Cause I I remember when um when I first started um going through the process of getting Tama designed. Um if you don't mind me uh jumping jumping in. Uh, no, no, please, yeah. That. Um so I started the, the process for making Tama around, um, this is when I was IRL streaming, I did a birthday stream and it was massively successful. Like people um, donated a lot, people gifted a lot of subs. Like I, like I hate, I hate to put money into it, but people put, like actually gifted me like a decent amount of money that day, which, you know, normally is like, oh, sick, cool. I can buy that new PS5. But um, on that day, I was like, I, I want to use this money to do something actually productive that will further my creativity a little bit. And um, acting on my hunches, I was I, I, I hit up my my uh, my papa, my illustration papa, Crone, um, Crone underscore uh, co. Yeah, I don't if we could shout out Crone real quick. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Crone. full disclosure. He still hasn't told me how to pronounce his name. I'm 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 gonna just say uh, Crone, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, Croneco. But um, he he every time I ask him, he just says yes, but it's like <laughs> not a defined answer. <laughs> All right, I mean, yeah, okay, well, we'll just roll with it yeah. then. We'll just roll with it. Yeah, I, I call him Crone, but um, the the dude has like he had at that point. I think he'd like made stuff in live 2D, but he never made a VTuber model. Um, so oh. the process for us to make a VTuber was purely just like based on experimentation. Like I, I hit him up and I was like, dude, like, because we were mutuals at that point, we, we we had a rapport. Like I had met the dude personally when I went to Singapore, um, I think at this point, like two years ago. Oh, wow. Um, for a convention. Oh, so yeah. You guys, I, I, wow, you guys are way, way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Cause I, like I, I came from, um, I came from like some fandoms where where people would use emotes that he had made. Like there's like Fade Go, Dota, Love Live, even going now into like Hololive stuff and Genshin. Like the dude like hops on a lot of trends and makes really cute and really awesome uh, emotes for stuff, right? Right. Um, right. So that's that's how I've known him. Um, and then I guess through through what I've done and what he's done, like we, we both kind of just connected. Um, and, and at that point we had a little bit of a rapport, like he was already starting to stream on Twitch. So like he had been around my streams a little bit and I, I just hit him up randomly. I was like, dude, um, I don't know if you'd be down, but I think I want to be a VTuber and I want to know if, if you'd be willing to help me out. And he's like, I'd never done this before, but cool, let's do it. And I, I kid you not, I kid you not, but he basically made Tama. Like at least the the core design stuff of it, like including the model to be rigged, so not rigged yet, but just like the the Photoshop file with all the layering and everything, he did that probably over a weekend. Damn, seriously? Yeah, the dude works really fast. And like, if if anyone in chat, I don't know um what v, uh which VTubers are in chat, but um there are a lot of VTubers that have recently, or I don't know if it's recent at this point, but they have commissioned him. Um, like scuffed models. Yeah, I mean, like that's he's widely known for that now. Everybody's, everybody's. Mm -hmm. I remember like uh, phases of people like getting like alternative models where like people wanted the Manchi dog initially. Yes. yes. And then the ne the next thing was like the the Crone scuff model was like the new thing. Like everybody's gonna get a scuffed model from him now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and the thing is, is that like yeah, Joel like, did get one uh, as here. Yeah, Joel got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the th the thing is, is that like if you've worked with him before, you know how fast the dude can be. Uh, or at least like you know, getting back to you is one thing, but actually getting finished products from him, like it's nuts. Like the dude works really quickly, and I, I you know I was expecting this to like take a week. You know, I was expecting m maybe at most or like at the very least like a week and a half. Um, yeah. Or sorry, at the very least. Um, dude got it to me over a weekend and i was like what the hell <laughs> and it was crazy because he sh he started like sending me drafts like the night we were talking about it just like sketches of of like ideas oh, he was and fucking on it he was on it and i got pretty much like the core like outline of tama before it was finished um like the night or the night after we were talking about it like i i was actually crying in in a in like my my small friend group vc um over discord because i was getting these live and i would i was like oh my god this is the most adorable thing i think i've ever seen because he, he like because I, I just gave him the parameters i was like hey me I, I i gave him like one character that i wanted like like the rough outfit from which is uh from this anime called waiting in the summer um it, like they have like like pre like you know like japanese high school like they, it has like like preppy clothes yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like the whole yeah, yeah. So like, thing. exactly. So I got like like the vest going. I got like the 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 button down shirt inside of it with like the top button undone because it's like the summertime over there. And I was like, oh, I like blazers and I want something with a with like bright colors. So like maybe give me a blazer or something. And then, um, he gave me this. <laughs> like he literally just worked with like, like two reference photos and some like parameters on on what i should look like which is basically modeled around my irl self just yeah. you know little bits you know changed here and there and uh yeah it yeah, just, as we, it just as we said like not that. a public school kid not a public school kid hey i mean yeah. look i never went to public school so you're not wrong <laughs> Damn, on the money with that one yo also yeah. i saw uh, fumiko and fo and chai yo what's up guys how are you how are you Yo, and yeah, uh, Kylan, thank you so much for the four months, yo. Thank you, thank you so much. The squad is out here. This whole squad. So, <laughs> I, actually, I actually want to touch on uh, something that you said uh, before. Um, or not really, just build on top, but... Uh, <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, uh, what was your experience, like, uh, like finding out about the, uh, the indie scene? And, like, obviously you became a VTuber mm. shortly after. Um, but, right. yeah, what was it like finding... a finding out that there was an indie scene existed because for me uh, like i said i didn't know an indie scene existed until like three months into my whole live experience and then i interviewed one and then that was kind of like the gateway like when i interviewed kanakamiko that was my gateway right. to like all these other indie vtubers that i had no idea even existed i had no idea that was like a thing that people were doing also i yo thank you so much for the two months here um, but yeah what, what was finding the indie side of things like for you it's weird because like i didn't really know that it existed myself right like i think like i was i was in my my own little world like just you know being a hall alive fan and and thinking that i i knew a lot about vtubers at that point and then like things started trickling down my way i think i think it, like i don't know if this is for a lot of people but i wouldn't be surprised if it was um, I started seeing Artemis blow up, right? Right, right. And I think at that point I was like, "Oh, okay, this is kind of cool." Like, like it, it, it didn't seem like like there was like affiliation much there. It just seemed like someone doing their thing. And I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess you don't need an agency to do that." Right. Um, and and then and then you know it's it started it started like spiraling a little bit. Like I uh, that I think that's roughly when I started um you know seeing your streams here on twitch i think the first debut that i had watched was eos oh really uh, if i remember correctly yeah so eo eo was like my i think my my first like like actual like introduction where i was like okay like the like everyone seems like pretty cool yeah um and then from there it, it was like j just kind of observing here and there because i think at that point in like en indie was you know just starting to grow its legs and i i wasn't really sure um where i could go as an as a as an en vtuber right because like i'm so, i was so used to seeing japanese vtubers at that time hollow en wasn't even a thing 
yet. I mean, granted, to be fair, this this is like before I I got the wheels turning on Tama. This was like slightly before, like probably a month or two before. Right. Um, I like I had I was already thinking about oh should I become a VTuber should I become a VTuber but my only reference point were you know Japanese VTubers and seeing EN people do it I think gave me some confidence because I knew that there were people that were willing to watch um, and then obviously Hollow EN blowing up really really wanted um, wanted me to uh, to get to get something going because he was like oh this is this is actually like catching on and people people very clearly on the inside want to see VTubers so I was I was like I, I, I want to rush this I want to I want to actually get this get this out here as quick as possible yeah, you know. it's funny that you mentioned both Artemis and EO because I remember uh, watching the EO debut. Um, oh, it was wait, what was the stream? I, oh, I think it was. Um, well, I was in a call with Artemis, and it was because I had a stream where I basically sh showed Artemis for the very, very first time, even before Artemis herself debuted. Oh, I think I remember that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where the whole uh, Are They Blue meme, like, sprung yeah. from because of that stream. And it was the first time anybody heard uh, Artemis for the first time, and that was super fun. Yeah, and then I remember we both watched the EO stream together, and it was one of the very first times where I was like, this is a debut? Because this is like a fucking movie I'm watching. Like, the whole, where she did, like, <laughs> cinematics and, like, the whole... Yeah! I, I always, oh, my God, the cinematics were crazy. I was like, insane. how? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, she put a lot of time and effort and grabbing resources from different artists and people. I Like, that was the first time where I was, like, blown away. And I was like, what am I watching? This shit's insane. And, like, yeah, I always look up to EO for, like, bringing new stuff to the table and, like, shocking oh, yeah. people with what she has. So, um, yeah, yeah, sh shout out EO for that, too. So that was one of the very first debuts that you watched, funny enough. Yeah, and you know what's funny is that I, th I think what left a huge impression for me was just seeing how elated she was after, I think it was like probably after that the the intro video finished, like after the cinematic was done. Um, and when she saw the chat just blowing up and it was like scrolling really quickly, yeah. like it, it like it took it took her like so long to just regain composure because like I mean I, I don't know how she was actually feeling, but it seemed like you know it, it was overwhelming. I mean, understandably so. Um, and that I think that made me really want to try because I was like, if if VTubing can make that person happy, I wonder what it could do for me. If if like I don't even need that kind of reaction, but like. You know, if I can see people be enthusiastic about my shit on any level, I think that'll be a huge, huge boost for like my mental and my like confidence. Um, and I guess we'll just validate my creativity more, you know? So that's that's kind of why I, I just got those wheels turning super quick to get Tama out. Yeah, I, I totally relate to that. Like, um, not just, you know, there's a lot of uh, like VTubers within the space that like constantly inspire me to like edit cooler things or like tell a different story you know what i mean like there's so many really really cr highly creative and skilled people uh within the space sometimes i get a little jealous because th these guys are like <laughs> making some crazy stuff you know what i mean like yourself included like yeah oh, you're able you. to like foster a really dope community um i think that's like it's few and far between uh but seeing like coming into a stream and then seeing familiar faces I, I think eo like is another good example of this too who's like doing something really great there like cultivating uh a welcoming uh community and people like you see the same faces come back time and time again because uh yeah the space that they're creating for their audience is so warm uh yeah warm you know what i mean yeah no exactly and i think like you know it's it, it it's i feel like it's it's very um it's it's very naive to say like I don't care about views this and that right because I, I I alluded to that earlier but it's like it's it's it can be naive to be like oh man like I don't care about the views but I think like for as long as I have a solid group of people that watch me and you know are with me through all of that that that's enough for me to be like okay like I I am doing something right these people are behind me. And I don't want to do them wrong. And I feel like me just being depressed about shit sometimes is just not worth it enough. And it makes me want to work harder, you know? Like, I, I think there's a lot that I want to prove as a VTuber. Like, mainly for myself, just to, just to like, prove that, oh, like, I, I do have what it takes to, to entertain people and whatnot. Um, I just haven't, I haven't um, shown it fully yet. 
I mean, I don't know what these answers are, but I feel like I have it in me to try to push myself further as a person, as a creator. And that's, that's why I love doing Tama. I'm just like, okay, like I need, I need to like be on my shit and, and actually, you know, use what I have here. This, this opportunity that I have, like I have a model, which like for, even for some people is, is hard to come by. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's a lot for some people, right? Yeah. yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take what I have for granted. I never, never like like taking what I have for granted. It's yeah. it's it's like one of it's something that it's like been built into me with like the way that I was brought up. It's like you, like circumstances can be all over the place. You can be very privileged. You cannot be privileged. You know, you 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 could be you know really grinding it out. But I don't want to take anything for granted. You know, even even if things are like rough sometimes, even for me, like it might not be rough for other people, but that's the just the thing is that I don't want to take that shit for granted. You know, yeah, and I'm going to I actually want to touch on that uh, really, really shortly here. I want to build on what you just said. Um, sure. But yo, Nugget, thank you so much for the uh, oh, my uh, thank you so much for the six months, Thomas bidding facts and Orange. <laughs> thank you so much for the tier one as well. Welcome. Thank you so much, Orange. Appreciate I'm a little late in there, but thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to build on what you just said in a moment here. Uh, but uh, you were also just talking about your model. So, uh, mm -hmm. can you, uh, do you mind showing us, uh, a little bit, uh, you know, with your model and just show that off for a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. So you guys probably already saw my, uh, my, f like most of what I look like in my full body. Um, so yeah, this is, this is, uh, pretty much the embodiment of like what like IRL Ken would really like to wear. <laughs> <laughs> would really like to wear. Why don't you just wear it then? Um, I mean, I don't want to walk around with a blazer in Southern California when it's yeah. like a million degrees out. You know what? Fair enough. You don't like wearing a wool vest in uh, like mm -mm. 30 degrees Celsius weather? Mm -mm, definitely not. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not here to sweat. I'm here to please. Yeah, yeah. I said I've only met Ken once, but vouch. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, so um, for again, for people who missed it earlier, this is made by a crone papa. Can we get one more shout out for a crone uh, from one of my mods real quick? But yeah, yeah. yeah and my, got, sorry, go on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, and sorry. I, I just want to also uh, throw in there. My my rigging was done both by Canvi 2D and Crone. Also did touch up uh, touch ups on the rig as well. And oh. Crone has been the one that I've been working with to do active touch ups. Like he literally surprises me with like random models or random like fixes to my models sometimes. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got like the yeah. whole. So this isn't actually the only outfit that uh, you have. I mean, mo mo some people have seen this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I do have a little bit of variety. It's not a crazy amount. I don't have like a a two point or an alternate version. Um, but I I do have some layers that I could take off. If you don't mind me stripping for the channel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Um, I'm gonna have to take you off stream for a bit because that's like some TOS shit. Oh, you know what I mean? So, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You yeah. you want you want you want you want to see real quick? I can I can just I can just uh go go in the go oh. in the green room and oh and, okay yeah, yeah sure yeah. sure let's do it that way okay yeah 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 wait hold on you like you, you, yeah yeah where the hell did, you, you okay. like that you, you like you like that whoa whoa you can't whoa. yo you gotta you gotta be careful this is this is Twitch oh. Yo! You're about to get me banned! You can't show, you can't show on all surprising, this. Right? This is not good. I worked on it. That's all you? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Chad, I can't show you guys this. I can't I, I can't show you guys this. <laughs> it's not we're not ready for Twitch. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's on the that's on the OnlyFans. Yeah, this is <laughs> that's on the OnlyFans he said. Yo, that's a bad this is a bad look for me, if anything. This is a bad look okay, for me. It's okay, it's okay. Right, we'll we'll uh we'll we'll come back here to the uh to the to the actual like oh, safe okay. for work. But, but, but I can, I can at least, um, give you guys a little bit of a tease. So I have, um, I have a mode where I can take off my jacket. Oh, so this is, this is what I call the Mr. Rogers mode. Mr. Um, Rogers. It's, it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> day in the neighborhood. Man, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, true, I know. true. I grew up with him. He's, he, he's the homie. He's the real homie. And then I have, um, I can take off my vest too. So this is like the casual Tama. Yeah. This yeah. is like, yeah, this is this like, like after uh, hours. Yeah, this is this is like when I come home from work and I'm like done. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that, that's the that's the that's the comfy Tama. I also have the ability to take off my hat, which um I hate this look because um it, it, I feel naked, even though this is not really naked. It, it does make me feel naked. You know what? I've never actually seen you with the hat off, so this is really like jarring for me. I've never seen this. 
Yeah, well, what's even more jarring is when I don't have my glasses on. Oh my god, yo, this is like... <laughs> what am I looking at right now? I know, I feel so naked. Yeah, so well, like, put it back, put it back! Yeah, yeah. Well, so what's funny is that, like, this mode where I don't have my glasses on, um, I actually like... I like using this for when I play video games blind. Okay. Um, okay. All yeah, right. I do, I do that occasionally on my streams. Like, apparently, I'm better at video games when I don't have my glasses on. Oh, you mean literally, um, like, yes, with, yes, without the glasses off? I thought you meant like mm -hmm. going in first time, kind of blind. Like, you meant like, oh no, 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 like not like being able to see blind. Like, I take off my glasses. Like, actually, um, you know, like in real life, I take off my glasses and play Fall Guys, and then I have the button for Tom to take off his glasses so people get the point. I'm s yeah, I'm so tripped out right. Pretty much everybody in chat's like, yo, what the. F Am I looking at you? <laughs> Yo, this this is a trip for me too, guys. So we're we're all in the same boat here. Well, I got my glasses on again. Oh, I also have God. um I also have my cat ears. Well, yeah, they just popped out of nowhere. Yeah, this guy just threw them on spot. <laughs> what in the hell? And they move. Yeah. So whenever I blink, whenever I blink, they uh they they kind of twitch. Yo, that's cute as heck. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's funny because I'm in this mode so much, especially when I play games, because my hat. My, my hat takes up so much space. I can also layer them like this, too. Damn. Um, yeah. When my hat is on my game screen, it takes up a lot of screen real estate. So I actually like having the hat off. Ah. Um, so th this is my most compact form, which is a weird thing to say. Well, is there like, um, there's got to be some sort of, you can't just bring this on. There has to be some sort of lore here. Like, I don't know. Like, you got bit by a werewolf or something. And you know what I mean? There's got to be some, there's got to be some depth here. Yeah, so, something more fun than just Papa being like, oh, do you want cat ears? And me being like, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's got to be more. You can't do it. That's not like, that's like sacrilegious if you're a VTuber. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. I don't know. Like on spot right now. Go. Um, this is canonical. So be careful here. Um. On my way to find dad, I got bit by the local cat. And then I became Cat Tama. There you go, guys. Yo, yo VTuber <laughs> Wiki. Hey, VTuber guys. Hey. Yo, VTuber. Yeah, get VTube. that on my profile. Where, where y'all at? Yo, update this shit right now. The local cat. Yeah. The local cat. <laughs> All right, it's canon now. I got it, guys. I got the information. We can dip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you heard it here first the exclusive so this is uh is this is basically all the models you have here eh? yeah this is pretty much it um i do have um alternate um alternate like movements and stuff but before i get there um it's kind of funny because i'm since i'm in this mode a lot and since like i apparently i'm doing okay on tiktok people on tiktok think that i am a vtuber mascot cat <laughs> Yo, they have to like make they have to make it more complex every time. You're just the cat mascot. You're a cat mascot now. I'm just like, okay, like the, the the cat is more cosplay than anything else. But but I, I guess I'll take it. Whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. He's a TikToker, huh? What kind of TikToks do you do? Um, I can't say that they're anything special because they are literally just re-uploads of my Twitter clips. Fair, very smart man. I do want to make like actual TikToks though. I don't know what, but because I, me, me being, um, me being not a Zoomer, I, I, I don't stay on top of trends like some other people do. So it's, it's always like I hear about TikTok trends like two weeks after they're done. And I'm like, wait, so should I do this or not? Yeah, yeah, it's, and... like, a, it's like a weird gray area. <laughs> this is even worth it to do it. There, yeah, there's, yeah. there's, Thomas TikTok right there. The Tama Talk. Tama yes. Talk. I like that. I like that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will put my hat back on. There we go. Oh, Default. That's such, that's such a trip right there. There you go. And that's Probably. the full, that's the full Tama experience. Oh, oh, one more thing. One more thing. Oh, yo, yo, check it out. Check it out. Um, it's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to appear cut off, but yo, my drip. I got some CDG Yo, Converse is the CDG on. Converse? Yeah, no I got way. the CDG Converse. Let's go. Yo, I had, the, I had the full like PSD thing for it. I never caught that actually. That's gonna get the comic car songs on. God damn. Yo, I swear VTubers are just stout. Yo, get that. Yo, there's Crone in chat. Yo, Yo, Papa, how's it Yo, going? Papa. Yo, the man himself, the man myth legend. Yo, got that. Wait, zoom in one more time. Zoom in one more time. On Yo, those. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you get the. You get the CDGs, yo, Kanye got the Balenciagas, the, like, oh, all the VTubers are, all the VTubers just styling on everybody, god damn. Yeah, man, Sheesh. I got the drip. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, all right. So, yo, can we get some sheesh in chat, yo? God damn. <laughs> yeah, bro, got the CDG drip true. Wait, what the fuck? Dude. Wait, how is that? When did you get mod? I just noticed that right now. I, I, don't, I don't remember modding you. <laughs> I don't. I actually don't remember modding you, but all right, sure. Why, why, why not? Don't you guys probably got drunk one night and it just happened. And yeah, honestly, because I, I don't remember. I like swear to God, I'm like, what the wait? Yeah, it's definitely a foogie move, hundred thousand percent. Oh, I could believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're the CDG drip. Okay, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You said that your the hat takes up a lot of real estate. Uh, real estate. So you mm -hmm. like use the ears. I totally understand that. I mean, personally, I like the hat. I think it really sells you with the like the little Ken buttons on top. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean it's cute for your model. It's not like you actually own one, right? No. Wait. It's not like you actually no. own one, right? No. Definitely not. Mm -mm. Couldn't couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Mm mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, I'll just yeah. leave that. It's it. I mean, would yeah. you think of me differently if I did? Well, no. It would just. I would like. I would just separate from you a little bit more. Is all. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's, anyways. That's fine. <laughs> mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hey, hey, the hat. I'm sure it looks great. IRL too. I'm sure it looks. I'm sure no one else can pull it off like you can. Thank directly. you. I'm. 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 I've been told that, but I don't know if I could trust anyone anymore. <laughs> see, I'd buy your hat. Can see. There you go. See. See. People love. Thank the hat. you. Love the hat. That's. That's one person. So. <laughs> hey. Sometimes this one. One is all you need. Sometimes you know. Yeah. Yeah. No. I said num numbers don't matter to me. Yeah. yeah see. There you go. <laughs> wink. 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 Nudge. Nudge. So. Um. Yeah. So going back to. Uh, so you've been VTubing for, okay, so you said December, December 10 or 12, well, I'm not really sure when, so that's about like four-ish months now, three, four months. Yeah. Um, but in that three or four month span, you've done like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, and one thing being, uh, you actually did a lot of design for the Vishojo, uh, Vishojo girls, correct? Or mm -hmm. Yes, yes, can I you, did. Can you go into that yeah. a little bit more? Yeah, I, I'm not going to go into like, obviously like crazy, crazy specifics. Yeah, yeah, don't go into but... that, right. Yeah, but um, basically, um, because I'm I'm like fairly good friends with Gunrun, and like we were in, <laughs> it's kind of funny. We uh, we're we're in the same Discord server because we're like, so me and a bunch of friends, um, that that you know, like we had a lot of mutuals and we all just kind of got together. Um, <laughs> we're we're all Filipino. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know. I'm sorry I'm too. So... <laughs> but, 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 but we, so we made, we, we, we like love Jolly Bee. So we, we, we made, we made a discord server called Jolly Bros. And, uh, <laughs> Jolly Bros. <laughs> Jolly Bros. Yo, shut up. Uh, no way. Did you guys actually? <laughs> yeah, we're all Filipino. No um, and it's, it's, it's great because like through all of that, because I started, we started that discord server. I got, I think Gunrun was probably like, like was the one that got the wheels turning on it i think he just wanted to like hang out with peeps over over covid right because we we couldn't like hang out in person or anything we couldn't travel so we just like all of us wanted to just talk and vibe in in a vc i'm sure like a lot of other people uh through all of this right yeah um and somewhere along the line um we all got into hollow life yeah yeah um and then i guess that got his gears turning into um, into making what would become Bishojo. And, um, you know, in, in, I guess, you know, talking to him about that stuff, um, and me doing graphics things for my IRL Twitch, um, doing graphics stuff for, I, I showed him like concepts for what my Tama, um, uh, stream layouts would look like too he's like oh like do you want to do you want to help and and make some assets for us and i was like sure why not and one asset became two assets became three assets um and what? i guess sorry assets for who specifically oh yeah, yeah yeah sorry i should say so it i made assets for um and i'm gonna i'm going to hopefully get everyone in here because it, it 
it, it's more than I could remember. But basically, I had made stuff for Mouse, for yes. for Iron Mouse, um, for Project Melody, for right. Zentrea, um, and then I was working on something for um, for Silver. Um, but that didn't end up panning out. So, um, so she's with a different design, but I did work on like on that a little bit. And then, um, actually, well, I should say, I should clarify, n none of what I made is, is there anymore, but, um, I did, I was in the talks of doing it. And then, um, and then I made Nyaner's logo. Damn. Yeah. So you like, basically, well, it's, you said a lot there. For, first of all. You were there for like the genesis of the creation of Vishojo, like from the spawn of even the idea of kind of putting them together, right? That's fascinating on its own. That I didn't even know that actually. Yeah, and so. it's not it's not like I, I I wanna I wanna fully disclaim that I'm not like I don't know what happens on the business side yeah. anymore. He's just more like, oh, he, he like Gunrun is the kind of dude that like he acts on hunches. Cause much like me, it's like, oh, if you think you're onto something, you might as well do it. And um and he's just like, I think I wanna make an agency. And I was like sick go for it <laughs> you know simple as that yeah it doesn't have to be super complicated i love that you no know, exactly and then um and then you know as as things were turning it started to seem more serious and he's just like hey do you want to help us and i'm like yeah fuck that yeah sounds, that sounds cool yeah um and then and then in addition um later on down the road i ended up um i ended up working on hajime hime's um assets as well right yeah 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 so you um, you did a lot a lot a lot and you um i'm just curious were you working closely alongside them the whole way through or not really it was kind of like a distance you're on your own you can like have free reign so it's funny because um because my my line of communication was with the one person that i knew the most uh, obviously which is gun run right. and so he was the mediator for a lot of it which like and here, here's here's the most daunting thing about about what i did with Bishojo, especially when when it was leading up to their debut which hella stressed me out but it's it's experience that I learned from and really value. Yeah. Um. So, I have done graphic design work for my own stuff, more or less for the past probably over ten years. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's all like self taught stuff. I never went to school for graphic design. It's all just based on what I've learned with my eyes and what I've seen people like and what I've liked. Um. But I've never really done commissions for anyone. Vishojo was my first real um, full commission that I was getting paid for. Damn, really? Uh, for graphic design, which was daunting. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, it's like an immediate, shoot. It's a big project off the bat. Wow, that's huge. It is. And and, and truth be told, like, I, I, I'm, all, I'm, I'm this kind of person that I try not to get down on myself if I if I feel like, like, I don't want I don't want to like ever beat myself up for not doing a good enough job, but I always learn from my projects as I go and I use like one project to boost myself for the next project, you know. It's right. like it, just in the interest of self-improvement, that's the only thing that you can do in some situations, right? Um so I worked on one and was like, "Oh, this is really cool. I like this, but I feel like I can do better." So then I worked on the second one, worked on the third one, worked on the fourth one. Um it, 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 I, I ended up getting myself into a little bit of a routine, which was good. Um, but it was like none of these things were debuted yet. It was just things that the creator themselves liked. But, you know, it, it it's like one of those things where I did not see what my stuff would look like on a stream until the streams were happening. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh. I, ma I imagine the feeling of like <laughs> seeing the finished product like come to fruition and like presenting itself on stream is a super cool feeling oh it, it absolutely is and i think especially since um their debut happened before tamas and i made the last minute decision to separate my graphic design work from from my irl name and tied it to kentama because i figured oh. because i figured like why not right if i'm yeah. trying to grow this brand it makes the most sense and yeah, since i was already yeah, and since I was marketing Tama as kind of like a videographer slash like creator anyway, as like this kind of like meta version of myself, um, it kind of worked out anyway. And I think that 
if I had to take a guess, was probably one of my more pivotable, pivotal, pivotable. My God, that's not a word. That's one of my. That's one of the. Um, that was one of my bigger. Oh no, actually, that is a word, huh? P pivotal. That was one of my pivotal, pivotal. moments go, in in um in in my growth. Yeah. Um, you know, like in terms of like branding myself and getting myself out there. People were like, "Oh, who's this dude?" <laughs> you know, after after seeing my name on some debuts and retweets and whatnot. Yeah. So actually, you. I mean, we won't go into too great of detail uh but mm -hmm. you just mentioned that like you use that kind of branding to build your like this meta vtuber persona of yourself like being a videographer and all that mm -hmm. um and i guess like in that way you're kind of similar to myself where you actually do this kind of thing outside of vtubing correct because for me it's <laughs> also like a, a a job for me as well and it is for right. you as well right yeah that's the thing i feel like that that was like one of our like first like introductory points to like us like talking period honestly. yeah yeah i think it was just yeah. that, that common ground between me and you is like oh you're also like you're also in this vtuber space but then you also do video work and all this like media stuff irl yeah. and i've never actually met anyone like that in the space before you so i thought that was like really cool that we touched on that common ground yeah because it, it it's the kind of thing of it's one thing to be a fan of stuff right like i i went into this this whole world just watching Hololive, right? But then it's a whole, there's a whole other aspect of it where I have to make content for not me <laughs> on a daily basis anyway. And you start to see the makings of how things work behind the scenes. Um, obviously based off assumptions, but like you, you can kind of start to understand and in, in, in many ways respect the work that um, the people that I'm inspired by and that you're inspired by right. um like the work that they do you know um and i think seeing all of that in action is is definitely what made me want to do what i do and on top of that it's definitely been you know i mean it, it, it's it's not hard to even see like it th there's an advantage to it you know like i it's not like i yeah, don't yeah. know how to edit video it's not like i don't know what graphic design is right and like there I, I feel like one of the comments that i get from people is that there's a certain level of professionalism that they see with Tama, which is weird to see because it's like I don't feel it, <laughs> you know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel it. But it's just, it, it's just the way that I've learned how to, you know, present myself and make content. Yeah, it's just how I've known it, and that's just kind of how you like molded Ken Tama, I guess, for yourself. And which is funny because, I mean. Personally, and this might get like kind of touchy, uh, oh, no, but go for it, go for it. I like how you incorporate that bit of your like your IRL life into your VTuber self. Um, I always love that integration of VTubing, like taking something personal and put it putting it into like the model uh, yeah. or like the character or personality, what have you. Uh, why did you choose to be so personal with the model and with with Tama? Because uh, from a lot of people, I usually see. Uh, people like to do something completely different with themselves. Like, they like to be, like, this badass, I don't know, like, dragon VTuber or something that's, like, very contrast uh, into their, their IRL personality. But you decided to go uh, with a route that's more... something that's closer to you, I guess. Yeah, because, um... <laughs> I can't act. <laughs> that's, that's, that's literally what it comes down to. Like, I, yeah. I don't want I don't, I don't want to be tied down to some weird lore. You know, like, obviously, obviously, like, I have my in-jokes. I have things that we can laugh about, like how I am 12 or 13, depending on what Twitch TOS allows for. Right, I might, right. I might, I might have a dad. I might not have a dad. But the, <laughs> the, 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 the thing is, is that, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, I really don't care about my lore as much. And I, I think, I think that's, that's my way of staying true to myself. And I think that's why I was always okay with, tying especially my looks um but especially and, and especially my personality to to myself when it, when it comes to tama it's like i don't i don't have much to hide i'm obviously i'm not going to show you my my life life right i'm not going to show everything everything yeah but in regards to what people already know about the irl tama ken right um i'm not really hiding much it's it's just more like like i i think as a vtuber I just play the scopes just slightly differently, but I don't I don't want to like 
pretend and hide shit like that's i think i think um like for what i'm willing to tell and show for this character that people want to see and what i'm comfortable sharing like that's like i i, I want to stay as true to myself as possible i think that's that's that that's always been a core of it because th that's what feels most natural and i think that's why people somehow like me though i don't I don't think people could get behind it when they saw my face for whatever reason, or maybe I just didn't try it for long enough. Right. But it's definitely easier to accept this little lovable dude in your life <laughs> than it is for a random 27, what? 27 year old dude. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that you might make fun of or something. I don't know. <laughs> I totally, I totally, I mean, who would make fun of you? Come on. Like, yo, show, wow. point them out and I'll beat them up for you. I got you, man. Oh, I got, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you my list later. All right, yeah, the, the whole laundry list. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. I got you. Uh, all uh, 20, 23 uh, of them. I, I got you, man. <laughs> but, I mean, so it's funny because, uh, like myself, you, for VTubing, you come from Hall Live which is a completely different take from that because you're extremely transparent here uh, with like going back in between your model and like IRL stuff and you don't have much to hide. Where on the other mm. coin, like Hall Live and stuff, they're very, very on top of like, it's mm. super separate. You're this character only. You cannot include any of your IRL stuff. Um, and that's just kind of how they run their business and their side of things. Uh, I'm curious as to what your take on also bringing IRL personality into VTubing is like, what's your, what's your take there? Cause I mean, personally I'm on the outside looking in, so I don't have much mm. of a say, but you're in a particular position where you're on both sides now of like right. IRL or entertainment and VTubing. I think it's, it's this kind of thing of, um, I have my own reasons for doing it personally. Like, like I feel like VTubers are like a way to show off like my, my weeby anime fandom, just like there's, there's less question, but also vtubers are becoming more publicly known and and appreciated so it's like i feel like that's like one aspect of it where like i became a vtuber for that reason but because people already knew me from irl i don't really care but obviously as you said with hololive stuff and other you know traditional vtubers they don't show their face i I, I don't personally really care either way i feel like you hear it from from you you hear like people make assumptions about the other way around people that are IRL personalities like just at least similar to me right IRL personalities that are becoming VTubers for whatever reason you know that I'm not going to name names but you hear people be like oh they're just trying to cash in or they're trying to jump on this thing right right absolutely. and and I I don't like assuming that shit because you don't really know what the person's ambitions are Right, it, like or like, what's holding them back? I don't ever like assuming that of people. I mean, if if, if it's a cash grab, if it really is, then whatever, right? Like it's that person's prerogative. But I, I personally don't really care either way. If they want to protect their their identity, like let's say in the in the extreme where you the the identities are not known at all, their identity is protected for a reason. If it's Hollow Live, I like it, it. It's more of a protected image thing, right? You don't well, you protect the person behind. Um, the character first, right? Because right. there are creepy people on the internet. <laughs> yeah. um, but on the other side of it, it's like, okay, let, let's think about it. Let, let, if we take out the business part of it, um, what are the creative motivations for that? Um, sometimes you want to show the best version of yourself. I think that's something that a lot of streamers do anyway. Like the yeah. most popular streamers will always show the best version of themselves. You look at your favorite YouTubers or influencers, you're always seeing the best parts of their life that they're willing to show um uh, yeah i and I, I think because of that like i it honestly doesn't really matter if that if that's the creative direction that that person wants to go or if that's the way that they want to present themselves then it is what it is you know like i i think as a fan you you, you don't have to think about it that deeply <laughs> you know totally yeah Nug um, yeah nugget said that's just social media natural yeah that's true yeah like a lot of elements mm -hmm. there uh, but yeah. i totally i think for the most part i agree with you there um yeah i know there's like preconceived notions of like what vtubing should be and you should keep yourself separate but i totally totally agree um in terms of like what their motivation there is like i think you said it beautifully and i've like done a couple interview articles myself and i always say the same thing of what you said which is it allows the person behind the vtuber to become more of themselves or like the person that they want to become 
Mm -hmm. I think that's like an element that you can't get if you're like using your IRL face, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, here's the thing, like, um, a mentality that I've definitely have gotten behind, um, like in my my couple months of being a VTuber, like when I started thinking about this, it, it things started to make way more sense. You don't think of the model as a character. You don't don't think of the model as, you know, the focal point, even though that, that's what it is. It's a thing that that it's a thing that 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 people will look at to present. Right. Or the, the, the thing that that you will use to present yourself. Right. But I think at a pure basic level, I almost see the model akin to a camera. It's like it's like an instrument. It's it's basically the portal to creating something and putting it out there. And I think once I realized that that's what it was, all of a sudden, you know, these questions of like, hey, can I can I VTube as a PNG or does that does that inhibit me? All of those questions like start to make a little more sense. <laughs> and I'm like, no, like, I mean, certainly certain tools will make your life easier. I don't think a three thousand dollar camera will make you any better videographer than your iPhone would, <laughs> you know, it's true, and it's the same yeah. thing with a model or a PNG. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I see, I see swimming there in the chat. He says, "What should hopefully shine the most is your own personality." That's a hundred percent what it is, and it's not to say it'll be perfect. I mean, like with anything artistic, you'll grow it out and you'll learn along the way. Um, but I think, like, as, as robotic as it sounds, I almost see these things more as tools first before they are characters. And then one, once, once you are at a place where you are, you know, comfortable and happy, then you can start giving. Um, a little more life or tie tie a soul to your character like I feel like I refer to Tama in the third person a lot um, I you might even see me say this on Twitter but I'm like I'm so proud of Tom I'm happy where Tama has gone and that's because like I, 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 I at some points I separate myself from him but I am also him <laughs> you know? yeah yeah it but goes I back around it does it does it, it depends on the context but I think in, in me seeing it as a tool it's like I can be I can still be proud of it. it. Doesn't make it any less personal, but you know, it. it, it, it I guess it depends on the context. Um, but at the end of the day, this is the thing that helps you, you know, demonstrate your voice out there to the world. And I think that's regardless of whether it's a PNG or a scuff model or or a full rig like this, a two D rig or a three D rig. It doesn't usually matter. It's just like whatever you're comfortable with. Or it could, it could be your face. Or it could be no face. It could just be like you know, no cam. It could be no camera you know? at all. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just if you want to do it, just honestly, just do it. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, I think that was... went deeper. That went deeper than no, I thought. That, I think I think that's great, and like it provides a lot of like. It's weird because you you've done a lot. Like you've experienced what it's like to you know go into VTubing, and then you've also have this like technical aspect because you do this kind of thing for uh for your work like videography and stuff specifically like media production um but yeah i don't think it's in fact i i want to go a little bit deeper if that's okay with you yeah um, absolutely yeah i'd like to touch on this like irl perspective um because mm -hmm. i think it's something that you can you specifically can offer to a lot of people um i remember in one of your streams i don't i want to say it wasn't that that long ago uh, but you mentioned, uh, so to preface again, you do do like videography and stuff, and it's like not a, tra I wouldn't say it's like a traditional job, you know what I mean? It's not like a doctor or something. Um, right. And I remember you saying that your pops wasn't super supportive of you going into this like new age media direction that you're working in now. Um, how did you get around to, I guess, convincing your family or your dad specifically that it was a space that you could confidently make a living in. Because that's something that um, maybe some people in the VTubing space see as an option. Or like just new, like younger viewers in general. They're like, oh, YouTubing is a cool thing that I want to get. You know what I mean? Like that kind of element. Right. And I think it's, it's kind of funny because and I, like just to preface the story, like I feel, I feel like you hear this shit all the time where like kids nowadays don't want to be astronauts they don't want to be doctors they want to be youtubers they want to be vloggers they want to be twitch streamers <laughs> yeah because because i i think that it, it's it's a kind of thing of it 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 fosters enthusiasm like you see these people have fun you want to have fun in your profession right um 
and I think I mean you, we can get into the like the, the 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 reasons for why that doesn't work. That's a that's another conversation. But in in regards to me specifically, um, I started making content very early on in my life, or at least relatively early on. I started making YouTube videos in two thousand and nine. Um, I made technology YouTube videos on my own channel, which will not be named, but it it, it was like pretty much the form. Uh, the, it was the formative days of like what would essentially be my my journey to become a professional videographer, like IRL, like actual Ken becoming a videographer. Um, so. I knew that I liked holding cameras for like all my life, um, but I think once I actually found that there was an audience for um, for the stuff that I was making, I, I was very encouraged to do it. And I think the thing that really sold me was back in 2009, when the YouTube Partner Program was still like an invite only thing, I not only got well i did i wasn't a full partner but one of my videos got individually partnered that's how fucking limited it was oh really i yeah they they even did it on a on an individual video basis if a video was fucking blowing up they'd be like oh we can we can help you make money on this oh wow i yeah as a high schooler as as a as a what was that what was i sophomore year as a 10th grader i made my first two thousand dollars off of a review on an ipod touch <laughs> damn <laughs> Yeah, Yo, which I, is crazy. Yeah, tenth grade, I was still, like picking my nose. I don't even know, and you're making <laughs> you're making bank off of these videos, God. And it, the, I think the the encouraging thing, was, right, was um, at that point the stigma was that if you're making YouTube videos, you're doing it in your parents' basement, and you're not going anywhere in life. Right. Um, but the thing is, is that I made my first two thousand dollars. Whenever people would tell me, "Hey, like that that that's loser shit," I would be like, "But." I made more money than you in this past month than mm. like just just doing my own shit. And I think like not only shutting people up, but also having people on my side with that after saying that. Yeah, that that got my wheels turning on trying to convince people that what I can make um, is worth it. Like just in a general sense um, that it's worth pursuing and worth doing. Um, and that even extended to my parents. Now, my mother, bless her soul, she's still alive, by the way. Um, she's <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. She, yes, yes, yes. Um, she is incredibly supportive. She's been, I mean, like, I don't think she like fully understood, therefore couldn't really fully believe that there was something in there for me. Like, she she knew it would be a hard thing to do, um, but she supported me as much as she could, and I think I and I obviously love her for that, um, and understood that that she would never understand what YouTube is. Um, and she would never understand how I make money. She still doesn't understand how m my day job makes money right now. It it's it's hilarious. Um, but my dad was the one that that needed the most convincing because he is super traditional. He's like, Ken, if you don't become a lawyer or if you don't become a doctor, you bring this honor to family, right? Like that's that's, that's, bas that's basically yeah, that's the, the the gist of it, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> um, you know, Asian parents, like, go figure. Um, but but the kicker, the kicker was, um, so senior year of high school, I'm already three years into YouTubing, and I'm like, okay, I really, really, really want to do video stuff. I know that this is what I want to go to school for, but I know that my parents are going to be like, hmm, maybe not, maybe not. Um, I was also getting into anime at this time. Um, this was like 2011. I was in 12th grade. It's literally my senior year, 12th grade. I applied to um, all the schools that I could have possibly applied to for, um, for college. And, and I was also getting into anime. I was starting to watch really uh in person or stuff that i i was starting to watch stuff that left a huge impression on me like i i'm, I'm sure people will will relate to me here but i watched clenad after story which Ooh. at the time made me really fucking cry like yeah, i mean that, that, that that's not uncommon but no that was my uh, first like crazy tearjerker anime too i was like mm -hmm. i remember watching after story and i was like what this is anime anime is like this it makes you feel exactly this way? how 
And the, the thing is that it wasn't just anime, but anime was the thing that got me to recognize the power of narrative storytelling. Or just, like, like storytelling, period. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, nonfiction or anything. It, it's just, like, video was able to make me feel something very physical. Like, I could feel the pain in my heart, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think once I realized that, I knew that I wanted to go to film school. And luckily, before that, I applied to one film school. Just one. And then the rest of them were all nursing schools to make my dad happy. Um, <laughs> I like um, that. I like that. Yeah. Um, I Just got denied for... Yeah, I mean, look, I got denied for my top nursing school pick, so I was, like, already not about it. Um, but I told myself, hey, if I can get into this program for film school where out of 2,000 applicants, they only accept 100 people, if I get into film school, there's a reason for that. They're like, well, you could talk about fate. You could talk about, you know, like there's th things happen for a reason, whatever, whatever it might be. I, I was like, okay, that'll be a sign for me. If if I get into the school, I should just probably fucking take the take the opportunity. Um, and literally the day after I watched Clan and After Story, when I'm like all emotional and shit, and I'm like, wow, I want to make like tearjerker content like this. Um, I got my acceptance letter. <laughs> so kind of lined up for you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So from there, I was like, "All right, well, that that seals the deal. Let's let's just let's just go. Let's just go." Um, but uh, I I couldn't exactly just be like, "Hey, Dad, I I got my acceptance letter. Let's go." Um, <laughs> um, I showed it to my mom, and my mom was like, "Oh, congrats, honey." Still a little cautious, but she's just like, "Oh, this is what you want to do. Okay, okay." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mom also makes the financial decisions in the house. So I was like, I, this is what I want to do. Um, and she was like, all right, let's do it. Just don't tell dad until, oh, until, we, until no we have way. to. <laughs> Y'all juke your dad like that? That's crazy. <laughs> so we, we juke dad. So That's like, wild. like one, w once it was locked in and we paid the tuition, we were, we sat him down. We we're like, Hey, this is what we're doing. And dad's like, all right, well, if, if you want to fail, call. Cool damn go for it go for it man uh so it, it, it was like a lot of just like it wasn't like heavy resentment like i think at some point he realized like all right well i can't just be like this um but he at every turn would be like you could still be a doctor you could still be a liar right, right there's that there's that it's not too late it's not too yeah, late it's not too late you can always change things and i'm like me the person that that made two thousand dollars in high school is like no there's money in this i don't care <laughs> i don't, don't care yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, um and um th there there's like there's like a lot of like um like things that i've done like I, I worked on my own youtube channel like that made anime content that ended up um becoming like not like big but it like it got my name out there for stuff and most importantly um, me going to film school, um, my YouTube channel was my way to practice my craft. Yes. Um, yeah. So, like, basically, I learned, like, the basics of cinematography, the basics of lighting, editing, composition, um, like, all the different roles of a film set. And I, and this is embarrassing for me now, but I used to make videos on anime figurines. <laughs> anime <laughs> like, figurines? Anime figurines. Like, like take, like, take, like, um, like, the, the most cinematic reviews of, like, of, like, products that you see nowadays in like say like the tech space i'm sure people know like a dude like mkbhd like you'll see like the nicest like shots for everything like take that but for anime figures um that that's the shit that i did um no but way. yeah but the, the thing is that like it's embarrassing for me to look at now when i hear my voice like talking like a top gear type voice because top gear was the main inspiration for all of this yeah, i was gonna yeah. be the top gear of figures um ignoring the fact that i was trying to be jeremy jeremy clarkson for figures um this the cinematography was what i really was going for um trying to get the best shots possible with the best possible lighting using what i learned in school to make an impression on people which got the attention of anime figure companies they started sending me shit they i still work with some of them irl nowadays uh, like sometimes not not too frequently anymore but it still happens from time to time um but a lot of that stuff ended up just working toward my uh my resume if you will resume or like my portfolio you know just to show that i i have the ability to do some of this stuff 
you know, like I'm, I might not be excelling in my school projects as much because I wasn't interested in them, but I had something that I was actually passionate about and growing and working. Um, and that eventually turned into working for a YouTuber full time. It's the, like it, it's, it is, it's very funny because like my old days of doing tech videos, like, like when I was doing like those iPod touch reviews and whatnot, those formative days ended up coming back to me and the connections that I made there was how I got my day job um, working for a big tech YouTuber now <laughs> and um, luckily he happens to be one of the coolest bosses ever that is super supportive and is like letting me do what I want to do too in regards to hobbies and stuff and you know he's like super super like cool about it so I'm like sick yeah. I can I can I can express myself creatively as much as I want. I can also help him with his own ambitions to to you know make make some of the coolest content on YouTube and we're all happy. And and then I guess some somewhere along the line that like my anime fandom um carried out and found its way to VTubing and now I'm here as Tama. <laughs> now yeah, full yeah, like somebody said full circle. That's so cra you know what's funny i didn't actually know about this whole like anime figurine uh mm. kind of story that led up to uh like you said experimenting on video techniques and all that and then leading it eventually yeah. leading to where you're working now because that's kind of how it turned out for me i was like it's super cringe talking about it but like i used to make anime yeah. review videos and stuff oh, oh let's go yo. anime community yo like like if, if you if, if people know like the irl or I, irl like the anitube community like i people might not know this but I, it, i'm not gonna say my name but if you know who i am um i used to be on the precursor to what is now trash taste no I used way to be, so there's Podtaku, right? Which is like, uh, he was with Giguk, uh, and a few, and, and you know, like, I, I guess, like, at that point, like, he was like the biggest, like, anime YouTuber. At the time, so Giguk yeah. Giga, Giga and his friends, and they would just, like, hang out on, on and make a podcast, right? Um, there was also a B team for that, and I was on the B team. That's how, that's how I ended up, like, being pushed into the anime community and, like, actually, like, getting, getting to know some people over there, which I don't, I don't really talk to them much anymore. But, like, I was very familiar with, like, you know, what anime fandom on the internet and making content around it was. And I learned the good parts about it. I, I've seen my fair share of bad shit and, and drama, like every other community ever. Right. Um, but I think that that honestly had helped me prepare for the VTube community in a way, too. You know, um, but yeah. That's, cr yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't yeah. know that you were so like entwined interwined and this is what i'm trying to say there interwined yeah, with yeah. like that community and like how much of an impact that had into like the life that you have now so that's like so crazy to see that's super awesome mm -hmm. i um yeah i do you have any i mean i don't want to like touch on this too much anymore so mm -mm -mm. do you like have any I guess practical advice for someone who wants to fall in your footsteps and like mm -hmm. specifically for trying to you want to like crack into an industry that's like maybe non-traditional in that sense right um excuse me sorry um so it's a little hard right because there i don't think there's a one-size-fits-all solution for this mm. excuse me sorry i had to barp <laughs> um, there's no one size fits all solution for this for anyone. I think like I don't I personally don't think that I am the most sociable person. I'm I'm like awful at communication. Like like I still have problems looking people in the eye. Like I'm I'm a huge introvert. It might not seem like it because I'm talking on a stream, but like in in person I'm like a huge introvert and it, it took me a while to even warm up to people in the anime community at the time even in the vtube community like i it, it was hard um and so a lot of it a lot of it for me was like intuition on social cues but also taking opportunities as they come um i had to do a lot of trial and error in networking in everything that i've done in my life to navigate you know meeting people in any community like I've, I've definitely misstepped at points. I've, you know, I've 
missed out on opportunities. And a lot of it is really just learning along the way is, is, is the most general one size fits all answer for people is you kind of need to put yourself out there and learn from your experiences and learn how to fall. Otherwise, not taking the shot means that you might miss out on something. But also, yeah. it, there's a certain level of, like, intuition that you need socially to break through. Because I, I do think with stuff like this, connections are absolutely important. I'm not going to lie to people and say that connections aren't. Yeah, for sure. But, um, so I, okay, he, I guess another thing that I've done with the VTuber community, uh, or sorry, like in becoming a VTuber, that people in the community at least know maybe somewhat by name um is i've and i've said this a lot on my streams but i am a firm believer of letting my content speak for itself um i am not great at reaching out to people i don't even like dming people i like people dming me <laughs> you know I, i'm not i'm not attentive at it and I, and i don't like i don't like taking the first step um but I guess in in some sort of validating way, if my shit was good enough to make an impression on someone that I looked up to or is is bigger than me um, that I can end up looking up to, um, then I did my job. You know, in, in a weird way, I see it almost as a challenge, <laughs> um, which, you know, also is not a very... It's not great advice to give because not everyone can do that. Not everyone can have the resolve or the willpower to do that. Right. Um, or, or you know, the background knowledge of making stuff to do that. You know, like, I think I just had a right formula where that worked for me. But it's 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 rough. It's rough. I, a lot of it really just comes down to doing and trial and error. Like, the most basic information for learning anything is, did you succeed? Yes. Cool. Keep doing that. Did you succeed? If no... Try again and learn from your mistakes. Yeah, but you have to like be willing to try first. Just like jump, like head first into things. Sometimes is like the best is your best bet. Probably you know. Exactly. I'm, I am literally the most passive person on the planet. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like people that know me like know that about me. I'm I'm super fucking passive. I'm I'm a uh, maybe may, is that is that what uh is that what what cool people call um bottom. Uh, Nah, that ain't it, man. Then hey, no, I appreciate no. I appreciate the effort. I appreciate right, the effort I, I'll, that went I'll into learn that. from that experience. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, they, hey, see it all ah. close to ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it, yo. <laughs> I got 90 years left before uh before I have my my time on this earth leave, yeah. so I'm, I'm I'm good. Yo, it's Dennis you and Chayo, what's up, man? Yo. Um Also, yo, sorry, we went into like such mm. depth there. Uh yo, Graves, thank you so much mm. for the uh Four months, my boy Vip with the eight months as well. Eight months, fuck. And Rushfa with yo. the five months. Thank you very much, yo. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, I don't have a transition point here. Sure. Uh, why do you suck at video games? <laughs> wow. Look, man, I just gotta. I, th there was no way to like ease myself into it, so that's just how it is, you know. Um. Okay, suck is a strong word. Nah, I seen your streams. You suck, man. Sorry, dude. Yo, you make great overlays, though. You make great overlays, and you make great content. And, uh... You know? The Are video you games, though... Yeah, that ain't it. Um, that, that ain't it. I, uh... I never said I was good at video games. I mean, it's good. You shouldn't say that, because you would okay. be lying. Yes, I would be lying. I've I've never lied a day in my life. <laughs> hey, look, yo, guys, yo, chat. I just I just call it as I see it, man. There's no bad no no bad intentions here. Just just how Why, it is. Do you do you do this to all of your guests? Look. Are you gonna make me cry too, like you made Pika me cry? <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> reel it back, reel it back a couple notches, man. Like, like let's shift gears. All right, hey, okay, you know what? That's a yes or no question, Domo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
hey, it's not whether it's not up to me whether you cry or not. That's a you problem. You know what I mean? Like if you cry, that's on you. I can't like help you there. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's just it. <laughs> that's just how it is. <laughs> okay, hey, you know, so, like you said before, like, and I've heard from a certain, you know, hmm. bird around the block, uh, is that you play better with your glasses off. I mean, that's true, right? You you confirm that. Did you just call me a bird? I I said that. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess you did. I did say that. Well, um, so it's weird. Like, okay, so for, for to disclaim, right? So when I take off my glasses. I'm going to take them off right now just so I can get a rough approximation here. Right, I I, I cannot see past... I'd say this is about three to four inches from my face. So basically, if I take off my glasses and look at my monitor, it's just a gigantic blurry mess. And luckily, at least for some games that are very bright and vivid and have a lot of contrast in them, I can play them almost better without my glasses because I can give less shits about what is happening because I already know that the worst case is I'm going to do bad. I'm blind. Yeah. I can't do anything about that. But I, I, I think because I tend to overthink a lot and because I I might not be willing to take chances in a game, um, without my glasses, I, I just take more risks. I think that the, at least if I'm to boil... Oh, that's my hat. If I'm to take down... I mean, if I'm, I'm to uh, boil down why uh, why I'm able to play a little better without my glasses, that's probably why. You know what? I, f I feel that. I feel that. You're like more willing to take... Ch yeah, I got you. I got you. So yeah. if you take your... If you take your glasses off, you can probably get a crown in Fall Guys, right? I heard if you I, I heard you don't have a crown I in Fall take... Guys yet. If I take my glasses off, I think I could roll with you in Valorant. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I don't play that much. I'm not... You know, I play every now and then. It's not like... Yeah. Oh, you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't play much? Yeah, it's like, yeah, like, we're not, you know, every, like... Every day. What do you mean, Cav? What do you mean, Cav, guys? I, like, play every, like, now and then. You know what I mean? Like, a game Every or now and then? Um, yeah, it, 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 I, I, not, not me looking, looking at Discord, seeing, uh, seeing Domo playing Valorant. Wow. Look, not me seeing Domo. Yo, I might just have the game work open. On, work on, work on graphics for a certain uh, game <laughs> that might look like Valorant. Um, hey, that's not the some, same. That's not the. I'm, mm, I'm running. Mm, the, okay. Mm. All right. Well, mm. fair. All right. Maybe you play a little mm. bit of Valorant every now and then. You know, mm. yeah, every once in a while. Every once in a while, I'd like to have a game or two or more. Or Look, two. I can stop at or any more. time. I can stop at yeah. any time. <laughs> <all say. laughs> Yo, Fo, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Valorant. <laughs> I, no hey, turning back. I can stop at any time. I can stop at any time, guys. I just, it's not, mm -mm. it's not a problem. Valcoholic. <laughs> Look, I can stop at any time. Look, I'm, <laughs> hey, the stream's not about me, all right? The stream's not about me. It's about Kintama over here and uh, his inability to gain a crown in Fall Guys. You still don't have a crown to this day, right? How many hours have you put in Fall Guys? Um, a lot. Um, probably, actually, I don't really, actually, hold on, let, let me, let me, oh. real talk, I'm gonna open up my Steam right now, I, I actually, I actually don't know how long I've been Bring it up, roll it up, roll up the yeah, Steam hold right up, hold up, hold Yo, up, hold Fo, up, hold thank up. you so much for the gifted sub to Addiction, I can stop at any time, though. I just, <laughs> it's a choice, like, I'm actively, you know, whatever, I don't have to defend myself here, okay? If I play, if I, if I play a game every now and again, then... That's How my... many hours do you think you put into Valorant? Is it three digits? Is it four Maybe. digits? Okay. I don't know about four. That that's a lot. Okay, okay. So three digits. Um, I I spent fifty five hours on Fall Guys, and a lot of that was probably streams. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, honestly. Yeah. And you wait fifty five hours and still no dub. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Look, I never, I, I never said I was good at video games. I, okay, oh, don't, don't get, the, don't get defensive. Hey, I'm just, it's just a question. Hey, you know what? Have no fear. You don't need all that to be honest. 
because um mm -hmm. yeah i brought some for you yeah I, I heard i heard that you didn't have the you didn't have the kahunas you didn't have the skill to uh get you a nice dub in the fall mm -hmm. guys so here i brought you a little i brought you a little something i brought you a little something myself just for oh? just for kentama right here, look at that yo your own crown let's go let's go hey there you go oh, beautiful. <laughs> hey for my man let's getting that duck go. today oh yo, yes from yeah they they got this with my uh with my kids meal right but yeah 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 exactly <laughs> Well, see, here's the Yo, problem. I, I gotta take this shit right back because I heard you were, uh, I heard you were Filipino, and that's not a, that's not a dub. Oh, what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I can't really. I, I got none for that. That's pretty, that's, pretty fucking true. That's that's the L right there. I gotta take, I gotta take this shit right back. I'm sorry, man. You, God damn it! You got, you gotta, you gotta keep dropping the Filipino. Card. Okay, look, I have you considered I, not being. You know what I mean. I mean, my name is Kentama. It's not like I haven't considered it, but yeah, yeah. And it's still, got, still got to think about the 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 person behind the character too. And that, that one, that one, we can't fix. That one, we... <sighs> right in the Lumpia. <laughs> <laughs> right in the Lumpia. <laughs> Double ticket L two. Yeah, I'm not. Fil you imagine being Filipino? <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh man, yo, could not, could not be me. Could not. Mm mm mm. Yeah, well, I, yeah, could not. Oh, you're not. Oh, yeah, you're not Filipino. Yeah, no. Nah, nah. Well, I mean, hey, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Kevin mm -hmm. Dela Cruz. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Dela Cruz. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've heard in this whole week. <laughs> My God, look, look, I, I want to do a quick test for you, okay? Because I don't know how. May, maybe you're not as Filipino as I thought. Maybe you can get this dub back, all right? Excuse me. me. So, I, mm -hmm. I, I want to do I want to do something here real quick. All right, we're gonna test mm -hmm. we're gonna test your wits and see just how Filipino you are. Okay. So I'm gonna bring you in here real quick. Oh no. We're, we're gonna no. test something. We're gonna test something. All right, bear with oh. me. Okay. I'm gonna ask mm -hmm. you. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions here. Answer truthfully. Oh, no. And we're gonna figure Is this, this out. Shit, wait, sorry, sorry. Did you just fucking rip the the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music? What do you mean? No, I. This is a this is an original score that I made. Sure. This is okay. an original. I made this today. It's catchy, right? Sure. It might sound familiar. Yeah, if, if you if you. If you if you spent time prepping your stream, you would have been on time. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> hey, two minutes is not bad. Give me some leeway. I got some for you, smart ass. Okay, okay this guy okay, right okay, here. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, just you wait. All right, you're gonna answer these questions very very carefully. Right? I want. Fuck, I'm I want the most. Like you're gonna out me now, Ryan. I want okay. the most earnest version of you. We're gonna see just how. Just how we're gonna see if these uh, CDG shoes fit you. All right. <gasps> Okay. Yo, place your bets now. Do you guys think? Wait, what is this poll even for? What is this prediction that you set up? What is this? What is this? What is this? Wait, how come I I can't see it? Oh, I have that problem with my streams too. Oh, will well, Kentama, Kentama win the challenge? I think is probably what it says. Yeah, 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 probably. I mean, if, <laughs> if you win, you're Filipino, which is I, I don't know if you really win at that point. But we're just trying to figure out. We're just trying to find some ground here. So, Ken, you ready for your first question of how yes. Filipino are you? I don't know. I'm making this title as we go, dude. All right. Okay. Let's for go. your very first question, I actually forgot what I set up here. Oh my god, dude! Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. So here it is. Your okay. your first question. Your grandma asks you to eat your fifth serving of food. What do you do, Kentama? Is it A? Mm -hmm. Politely decline. B. Make an excuse. C. You eat. You just you man up and you eat another one. Or D. You lie to her and say you will later. So, Filipinos are also very passive. We don't like to hurt people's feelings. And especially mm. if it's grandma, you can't say no to grandma. So, I'm going to say, eat another one. Is this your final answer? Can I phone a friend? <laughs> Sorry, no, I don't have friends. Um, no, let's just do C. <laughs> Definitely C. Kintama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely C. 
C. Final answer. Is the correct option, but I do not have a correct sound effect. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I did not. You know what? It's on my desktop. I have not loaded it up to OBS. But uh, pretend you just heard one minute. Did it? There you go. Yeah. You're, you're on your way to taking this L as a Filipino. All right. Your second question, Kintama. You see an ice cream container in the fridge. What's in it? Is it A, ice cream? Is it B, ice cream? Is it C, ice cream? Or is it D, not ice cream? Oh. It's in the fridge, mind you, not the freezer. That's really an important tidbit there. Um. <sighs> All right. I think, I think the answer is D, not ice cream. Probably leftovers of something else. I want. I can. I can feel the pain in your voice when you said that. That's got. That's got to be the right answer. God damn. You just hurting after that. Hey, Kintama. Yeah. That that shit. That shit's. That shit's fucking terrible. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? I don't fucking know. You know. You know. You know what I also don't understand. You know what I also don't understand. Like. We have a dishwasher, you know. Why don't we fucking use Why it? Why don't you use that shit? Yo, I, I fucking hate that shit. Like, it's it's there. The, God it. literally, if I believed in God, I think that he would make that shit so that we could use it. Not so it's an extra cupboard that's not that's built with pills. Yo, yo, save your niggas in the dry rack? Exactly, yo. You watch that shit, you put in the fucking the thing for it to dry, bro. And even then, that it's probably not, not fully dry. You know, like... Yeah. It's fucked up. It's so it's fucked, fucked up. up. I hate it. Yeah, it's terrible. Anyways, correct answer is D, obviously. It's not ice cream. It's like... Yeah. It's just... It's painful. You know what I mean? It is painful. You know what's funny is that so far, you know, this is this is like like Filipino who wants to be a millionaire to mm. test if I'm really Filipino. Right. But this is actually a lot of cultures, too. <laughs> Yo, high key. Of... high key. High key. High <laughs> key. All right, well... We'll, we'll get into a little more specific one later, but uh, well, actually, no, we're gonna get into one right now. This one might be a little oh. one for uh, for you. Um, oh. This one's a little like a two-parter sort of. <clears throat> okay. So I'll, I'll present you the question. And I'll give you the image afterwards. So okay. Uh, here it is. Qu oh, question number three. Oh well, I'm giving you the I'm giving you the uh, the image first. Oh What my the God. fuck <laughs> is this thing for? I kind of messed I messed up the order there, but it's all good. You guys get the point. What the fuck is this thing for? Is it A, wa for watering your flowers? B, for washing your ass? C, to collect rainwater for the rain god? Or D, maybe you just don't fucking know what it is. But according to this laugh, it sounds like you're very familiar with this thing. Yo, this shit is the reason why I didn't know how to wipe my own ass until I was fucking 12! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit existed just for me. <laughs> the answer is B. Yo. Yo, play the that, man. I really wish I had a little correct answer, bro. I didn't even... I wouldn't have needed to load up an incorrect one, because you're getting all this shit, yo. It's the fucking... What? Yo, ex explain. Run this shit down, yo. Run this shit down oh, for, wait, my, wait, for the wait. audience did that you, does it. Did you want a uh, correct uh, answer sound? Do you have one preloaded or something? <laughs> Yo, let's hey, go. let's go! <laughs> Yo, my man, guy with the clutch. Oh my god, it's not no, loading it's at all. Guy. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you know what? We take those. We take those. Thank you, guy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Producer. So, yeah, your phone says, "How does it work?" Can you explain for those who don't, who are unfamiliar? Oh man, like, look, it, it's just this. <laughs> this is gonna sound so shitty, but I promise, I mean it in like the most twelve-year-old way. When when mom did everything for me. But like, I'd just be sitting there doing my business and all I'd have to do is yell, mom, and like she'd show <laughs> up and then this thing would just like do its work. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's all you, happened. yeah, that's it, yo, to be honest, like that's all, you, that's all you need to say. If you don't like, if you don't know, don't worry about it. It's not a, like, that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> Oh man. Also, shout out to Guy though. Like, no, like yeah, real talk, real talk. Now that I'm here and like, 
like uh like like you can actually hear my voice and say it like dude guy guy is the actual mvp of everything yo you know what i'm saying man this guy coming in clutch i don't even have to dude i don't even have to say anything you know this guy is just like he's just reaching into the depths of my brain and just pulling out whatever you know what i mean he's like all, yeah, already man. two steps ahead of me yo he's the fucking wingman he's the best wingman you could ever ask for that's dude big that's, <laughs> big that's my man right there yeah shout out yeah, guy yeah, yeah. all right yo for your final question are you ready yeah 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 i'm ready i'm ready for your fourth question kentama what time do you show up at a 6 p.m party is it a right on time is it b 30 minutes early is it c texting your friend you'll be there by 8 p.m when you're actually still in the shower <laughs> or d 10 minutes early see i know this one because so <clears throat> here's the thing actually for me as a filipino for me personally i don't run on filipino time or at least i try not to mm, okay that's but fine. But when I didn't have a car, I had no choice but to run on Filipino time. And my dad, you know, when we're about to go to a party, you know, and they're like, it starts at six. My dad's like, oh, today is the day I got to clean the car. <laughs> and and, and it's, it's, it, we can't we can't leave without it being sparkly clean. I'm like, dad, it's 545. We kind of kind of got to go. He's like, no, the party will always be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my, I do. Okay. Yeah, the party will always be there. That's... The party will always be there. I'm like, <laughs> the Lumpia won't. <laughs> yeah. The, yo, the Lumpia and the Pansit and all that. Yo, that's gone. Yeah, man. man. That's gone. Oh, the Palabok, let's go. Yo, let's go. I mean, yeah. let's not go because we're not going to be there when it's, you know. But... Exactly. It's all gone. I mean, they always make so much fucking food that we have to take shit home anyway, but it's fine. Yeah, true, true. Uh, yeah, you're right with the, with the Ziploc containers. <laughs> the Ziploc, or like they just give you the whole fucking tray sometimes like oh man this yeah, yeah. hey well, the answer they... is c ken look man let's go back to the overlay you're you're filipino as fuck dude let's who are we fucking <laughs> kidding here to be honest with you man that was a joke <laughs> what the fuck Wait, this what this the hell one? this guy had that ready what oh <laughs> what the fuck oh, man? sorry sorry it uh I, I should have saved that for later. That's my celebratory. <laughs> this guy. Just, just, uh, the 12 piece. Oh my God. Yo, wait, guy, what were you saying a second ago? Sorry. Wait, does this mean he's won? I mean, he won, but did he really win? Did you know what I mean? At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Like, uh, well, there's about like 100k points on the line here for a bunch oh. of people. So. Oh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for the record, yeah, he's, he did win. Yeah, so, don't make that right, shit public. Congratulations, Ken Tama. You became a Filipino millionaire. <laughs> and so did these people who... 60k points into predictions. Thank you and... Yo, guy, thank you very much, yo. You guys all... I mean, everybody here won. Except for Ken, really. Except for Tama. Yeah, it, it's, it's okay. It's... I have to live with it every single day. But yeah. as long as there's chicken joy by my side, I'm 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 okay. Well, there you go. Well, I mean, as a Filipino representative of the Kevin's, first of all, where did <laughs> hold on real quick going back to that? Where did where did Kevin Tama come from? Oh, um, so that, that, that's just some people in in my chat. That one week that 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 Kevin Nguyen was blowing up. Um, that was like people in my chat being like, ah, that's you, you, we can, we can put a Kevin after, uh, before Tama. So they just, they just started calling me Kevin Tama. I think it was actually, uh, it was Olive. Olive would like put that in <laughs> it chat. It would be Olive too. And then, yeah. And then everyone started following along and I'm like, you, yeah, I don't, I'm not even a Kevin. It would be, well, you know what? Um, you did, you did win this little. Uh, I, show I, I knew here. I, I knew it. You what? Nothing. Well, you. I mean, you did. You took the dub there. Well, you took the L, really. Um. So, as a, as a Kevin, as a representative of the Kevins, um, proclaimed by my audience, of course, and by everybody in the community, basically. Um. I want to congratulate you, and I also want to award you. Award you with this official 
Kevin. Um, Yo! Certificate. I was trying to find the word there. But um, there you go. I That I could, looks official as fuck. It, it could not be. It's... You're basically an official Kevin, so. Wow, let me read this. Hold on. Ade okay, Domo. This is from this is from Domo himself. Official Kevin statement: A declaration that Kevin Tama has fulfilled the requirements of a certified Kevin Nguyen member, and is hereby recognized as a competent member of Drinking Boba, wearing high beast clothes, and driving imported cars. Prop. Oh fucking Christ! That I got him. You know what's fucked up is that I can't deny any of this. <laughs> I know you can, man. <laughs> I know you can't. God damn it. Wait, you you really put a BMW look? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm more of an Audi person, but okay. Okay. I, you, you know what? I fucked up there. I should have put the, I had a feeling. I had a feeling you're an Audi guy. Damn it. Yeah, but, I'm an Audi guy. Um, e dub. Yo, Ken. Um, there you go. This one's for you. Take it home Thank with you. you. And uh, if you're if you're interested, um, I'll even I'll even go so far as to make it super official. Uh, send me your address, and I'll send you a uh, official uh, framed version of this for you to have. Yo, I will actually put that shit on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Say less, yo. Say less. Let's go. Let's go. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, Congrats, Kevin. Well, not really congrats, um, but <laughs> is also, it really con is it really, is it really congrats? Uh, but yo, nah. in all seriousness, thank you so much for joining me in the stream today. Kent oh, Kevin Tama now. Uh, Kevin Tama, thank you so much. Uh, yo, everybody in chat, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it was a pleasure to have uh, Ken Tama on today. I've been uh, really, really excited for this for this past like couple, couple weeks, whenever the heck we set this up. So um, yeah, thank you so much for being on the stream, Ken. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And just keep doing what you're doing, dude. You're you're fucking killing it and you're always trying to do different stuff. I think especially now like you're 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 trying to trying to flex your creative muscles. So I'm I'm like here for you, dude. Yo, I want to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. More more of that to come in the next month. But uh yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us uh this stream. I'm going to send you off to a raid now. Uh, I'm actually going to raid uh, Girl Dame because we haven't raided... I don't think I've raided DM ever oh. since, like, I met her for, like, the very first time. I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, Big I'm probably, heckin', yeah. I'm probably capping there, but... Uh, anyways, I'm going to send you off to DM. Uh, yeah, please buddy. Let's go. Show her some... What do you guys want for a raid message, yo? I don't... I have no oh. idea. Yeah, so, someone make some... Kevin, Kevin Tom? Tom. <laughs> yeah, honestly, fair. Honestly, fair. With the... With the... With the pogs. We'll go with that. <laughs> So, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And one more final time, uh, Ken, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad to, you know, be friends with you as well because you are, every time I pop into your stream or, like, whether it's on, like, the Twitter timeline, you're just having so much fun. Um, so, and it's hard to see people like that who are, like, genuinely having fun in this space and not for another incentive, you know, what have you. So, uh, thank you so much for, you know, being you. Tom. And thanks very much as well for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Hey. Well, guys, I will catch you in the next stream. I actually don't know. I can't really remember when my next interview is. I'm sure it's sometime next week. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you standard procedure, guys. You'll see it up on Twitter, the trailer. So thank you guys so much. And yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Later, guys. Bye.